New car supply comfortably hits 80 days. Toyota inventory is up 20% in just the last 30 days. February opened with 80 days of new vehicle supply across the industry, the highest since June 2020, according to Cox Automotive's analysis of V Auto available inventory data. It's a new high water mark of 2.61 million cars. The most exciting news is that Toyota's inventory now easily exceeds 30 days. We knew this day was coming. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, and joining me across the way is the amazing Elizabeth. I agree that the news of Toyota's inventory growing is a definite highlight in this report. For many months, they've been lagging far behind the industry, down in the dumps with just 10 to 15 days of supply at one time. Those days are finally behind us with Toyota now sitting at 36 days. That means they definitely have enough inventory to be a lot hungrier for car deals right now. I'm a little shocked and surprised that at the start of February, the total U.S. supply of available unsold new vehicles was 2.61 million units. That is a 50% improvement over a year ago, a whopping increase of 870,000 units just That's in the lot. last year. And to think that for the longest time, there was a strategy in place to keep inventory low. The last time day supply crossed the 80-day mark was June 1st, 2020, when it was at 83-day supply level. Things are almost back to pre-pandemic normals. The Cox Automotive's day supply is based on the daily retail sales rate for the most recent 30-day period, which ended February 5th. There will be another update soon. It should come as no surprise to anyone that domestic automakers have the highest inventory levels because they have for a while now. Yeah. Dodge had the highest of any make by a wide margin, followed by Chrysler, Lincoln, and Ram. Brands with the low supply were Asian imports. We'll go through each brand here in just a moment, so stay with us. Here we see a much improved inventory for Toyota, now sitting at 36 days. Honda is also much improved at 48 days. Lexus is at 54 days, with Mazda sitting at 59. We've seen a fair number of decent deals get sent to us to review on Mazda, so Mazda dealers are wheeling yes. and dealing right now across the country. Land Rover and Cadillac both sit at 60 days. Kia is at 61 days. That's a little bit of a surprise. Porsche is now at 68 days. Subaru at 75 days. And BMW sitting on 77 days. This brings us to the industry average of 80 days. Chevrolet inventory is at 81 days and GMC hanging close at 83 days. Acura is a big shocker at 89 days and Mercedes-Benz 91 days. Hyundai is well ahead of the industry average with 93 days of inventory. Mini sits at 96 days, Mitsubishi at 97 days. Wow, that's a lot of inventory. That is. Volkswagen is building cars like there's no tomorrow with 101 days of inventory. Ford is at 104 days, Audi at 107. Now we get into the what the heck are they thinking categories with <laughs> Nissan holding at 112 day supply, Buick and Jeep both at 119 day supply, Infinity is at 123 days with Genesis, a bit of a shocker, sitting at 126 days. Seemingly with the goal of setting a new high watermark, way up and breaking records is Ram with 153 days of inventory. No wonder Ram rebates have been quite good lately. They really need to move these vehicles. Lincoln, Chrysler, and Dodge are even higher with more than double the industry average. That means all three of those brands are over 160 days, and that's incredible. I wouldn't be surprised to hear about plants shutting down with inventory levels like that. Of the top 30 models, the new Toyota Grand Highlander had the lowest level due to a part that the Limited and Platinum trim levels share that Toyota can't seem to get consistently. It's the 360 camera, which is not available on the XLE, so the XLE is easier to get. The word is that it's the supplier that's having the problems, not Toyota specifically. The low inventory struggle is shared by the Ford Maverick, which comes standard as a hybrid, so more new parts there too. Yep. The new Chevy Trax was also at the lower end. At the other end of the spectrum, pickup trucks, led by the Ram 1500 and SUVs, led by the Ford Bronco Sport, had the highest inventory of all. The average new vehicle listing price, we've talked about this before, Opened February at $47,142, down 1% from a year ago. The average listing price rose throughout December 2023 and started January high. But prices began declining in the second week of January and have been dropping by almost 1% per week. The U.S. new vehicle average transaction price in January was 47401 down nearly 4% from a year ago and down almost 3% from December 2023, according to Kelly Blue Book. 
The month of December, when luxury vehicle sales typically surge, often sees a jump in average transaction prices. Discounts and incentives in January averaged 5.7% of annual transaction price, up from 5.5% in December. And this jump in discounts was nearly 100% higher than a year ago. Friends, on the used car side, we just published this video titled Tax Time Car Prices. We advised, do not buy a car right now. This phenomenon can be short-lived, and we think it is actually peaking here in March. But for those of you who either must get a car right now because of circumstances outside of your control, at a bare minimum, visit our website, thehomerguy.com, and take advantage of all the free resources that we have there. The free car buyer's guide, which was temporarily missing, is back. (laughs) Sorry about any inconvenience. And last of all, for those of you who have no choice but to be in the car market right now and you're feeling not so confident about going it alone, get one of our memberships for direct help. Just visit our website, thehomeworkguy.com, and go to the memberships page and select a package that's right for you. The link is appearing on the screen now, thehomeworkguy.com slash membership. I think it would be appropriate for us to give people a better understanding of what's included in the membership packages. Sure. The six ninety nine dealer referrals package is a list of better dealers we've identified. But if a dealer near you with a specific brand that you need isn't on it, you can ask us to identify some better dealer options near you. We have a way of identifying better dealers that has served us very well in the past, and we'll be glad to assist you with that. The twenty four ninety nine homework guy help package is email assistance directly with me. I'll answer your questions, point you in the right direction, and supply you with used car book values through Black Book. Most of the time, I'm able to respond to messages multiple times throughout the day. Next up is the $49.99 Consults Package, which includes direct assistance with me via text, along with text support with the amazing Elizabeth. Response time is also very quick, same day typically from either one of us. The biggest package is the direct phone call, only available on our website, thehomeworkguy.com. Price is $99, and it involves a 45-minute phone call directly with Kevin, the host of the show. You can also get follow-up text support with that, email support from me, and Black Book car values via email from me too. By far, it's the most comprehensive, all-inclusive package of direct services that we offer for you. So if you're needing a confidence boost and would like direct assistance from us, visit our website today at thehomeworkguy.com and get signed up right away. And we do love working directly with our members. The reports of great deals that you guys are getting out there with our assistance are very inspiring. That's right. We greatly appreciate the opportunity to work with all of you. Thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back. And to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. On behalf of the entire Homer Guy team and the amazing Elizabeth, I'm Kevin Hunter. Thanks for listening.